What's going on, everybody? It's your boy, John from the Game here. Welcome to you back to another episode of Dang and Robot Trigger. Happy Havoc. In the last episode, we did do quite a bit, actually. And we were able to kind of get things situated. Hi, pigeons. Uh, the pigeons mean nothing, do they? No. Okay. So, oh. Yeah, this should progress us out to the second island. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, we did go to the right spot. I was a little worried that we didn't. Oh, the pharmacy. Hmm. I don't like having a pharmacy on standby already. Mekon being here makes sense. I'm not shocked by this. Let's go. We. What? What is with you? Uh, I'm sorry. I, I got excited. I started shouting. Uh. I'm so happy that someone talked to me before people ha either hated me or was grossed out by me. Those are such sad choices. More importantly, is this a drugstore? It looks pretty spacious, but it looks like no one's here either. Um, with all these medical supplies, I'm pretty sure I can handle most ill- we can heal and handle most illnesses or injuries. Hmm. If you don't feel too well, just go ahead and let me know. I'll give you all lots of shots. Lots and lots of shots. That sounds dangerous when it comes to shots. I should definitely decline. Um, probably. The shelves are crammed with a lot of stuff that looks like medicine. Unlike medicine that I'm used to seeing, these ones look way more potent. That's it. That's all that's in here. Okay. I mean, we got to see Mekon, so that's cool and all. Ooh, there's a whole library. Biakia would have loved this. That's kind of unfortunate that he's dead for this. It's a big library. Whoa, it's an impressive amount of books. It's probably a library, but nevertheless, it looks pretty overwhelming. Sonia. <coughs> That's not Sonia. Hmm, what language are these books written in? French, Italian? I didn't even know. Hmm, such an interesting description. What are you reading? Are those political books or some kind of philosophy book? They're the newest issue of the cult magazine. It breaks the lid off underground mysteries and wonders of the world. That's quite impressive. It, it's not like I read it often, but... I'm just reading it because there's a special article about serial killers. That's really not a good excuse at all. It seems the writer had very good taste. I mean, even Genocide Jack is mentioned in this article. Oh! <laughs> oh, no. Hmm. That Genocide Jack or whatever? feel like I've heard about her before. Ooh. This is why you need to play the first game first. Because that's a massive spoiler to the first game. This is why I play games in chronological order. I'm sorry. Genocide Jack is an alleged Japanese serial killer who has a reputation even among casual internet users. She's very popular among youth and is known for writing messages in blood at the crime scene. Apparently, she's a high school or middle school student who wears a sailor uniform, so be careful, Hayame. Do you know how many high school and middle school girls wear sailor uniforms these days? Ah, this one in particular was a favorite of mine. Sparkling... Justice, a regular subject of these kind of exclusive articles. I shall remain, I shall explain it to you just in case. Sparkling Justice is a serial killer who calls himself the Ally of Justice. Wearing a wide variety of hero masks, Sparkling Justice is delight a delightful serial killer who only kills criminals. S Sonia, c calm down. Thanks to the mask Sparkling Justice wears, nobody knows their real age or gender. After all, it is an essential that serial killers can be mysterious. What an as expert, yes. Hey, you two. I've been listening in for a while now, but... Why are you guys talking about 
about, about mere murderers with such enthusiasm? I haven't done any of the talking. Uh, please hold on. It is a mistake to refer to these people as mere murderers. Coming in contact with a value system that differs from your own is a very important matter. Serial killers, their value system is very different than the normal. What a marvelous existence. Uh, I am so totes intrigued, okay? Is this kind of like a lady crushing on a total bad boy type situation? Regardless, it is clearly different from a princess who's a... It's clearly a different form of princess who's absurd, obsessed with serial killers. I agree that serial killers have different values than normal people, but why does that make them marvelous? Sonia's values might be a little different in compared... Sonia's... Oh, wait. Was that us? No, Pekko. Uh, Sonia's value, values might be different compared to her own. Well, she is a princess after all. Before I go, I should look around here for a little bit longer. The bronze statue of Monomi, I mean, Usami, before she was redesigned. Looks like it broke when it dropped. Getting treated like a nuisance, e even as a statue, is pretty sad. The bronze statue of Monomi, I mean Usami, before she got redesigned. It looks like it broke, it dropped, getting treated like... I already saw that. The bookshelf. But a guy like me, you can't even read them. They're basically ornaments. This is a bronze statue of Monokuma. Looks so, so arrogant and with a, what a lame taste. Oh, hi, Monokuma. Huh? I've been found. Coming into contact with the values is the Oh, what am I was I not talking to Was I not talking to Sonia by herself? I am a little surprised. I never expected to find such a splendid facility. It rivals even my homeland's national library. But it is strange. I mean, does a resort really need a library like this? That is very true, and just as expected, nobody is here either. You're right. The fact that we're the only humans around here is even more strange. Ta-da! Monami is here! I am reading a book! Since you have come, would you like me to explain this library to you? I, I see. It's clear from your face I'm a nuisance, since I'm more energetic than usual. I feel even emptier now. It was your explanation. Well, you're basically students, right? I was thinking you needed a place where you can do your homework. So I prepared this library. Prepared you? <laughs> Everyone can get along and study together. It is a student's duty to study. Don't act like a teacher. Hey. I am a teacher. You are even more confusing than Monokuma. What is your real identity, and what is your true purpose? Real identity? Now that's silly. Goodbye. Running away as soon as things get inconvenient? That's even more suspicious. I cannot believe that she is the one who prepared this grand facility. Yeah, she's probably lying. According to this island's guidebook, many of their guests are wealthy and stay for weeks at a time. There's are all probably things that they donated. Hold on, did you just say this island guidebook? I found it in the library. Would you like to take a look? 
What, what language is this? I've got no clue. Then, then I shall read it on your behalf. You can read it, Sonia? <laughs> hmm. I am fluent in 30 different languages. It is required for members of the royal family. 30 languages? Does the royal family have a limit? Um. Jabberwock Island is a small island in the Pacific Ocean, known for being a paradise for the eternal summer. That is why, what it says, that is exactly what Byakia told us before. Jabberwock Island consists of a small central island surrounded by five other islands, so it's literally, uh, like Hawaii. The outer islands were more developed as resorts, while being this, the, while the center islands, a large administrative building, huh? It is strange, no? That is strange, I mean... The central island of Jabberwock Island. There's no sign of any buildings at all. The only thing that was there is Monokuma Rock in the park. Um. Also, according to this guidebook, it says that there's a bronze statue in the lobby the, of that building which symbolizes the island. Huh? Isn't that... Are you talking about the bronze statue that turned into the Mono Beasts? But that statue was in the middle of the park, not in the lobby of some building. Please wait. Th that's not all. There's another description that strikes me as strange. According to this guidebook, the only way to travel between the five islands is by boat. Huh? While some wanted bridges, critiques worried about their effect on the environment, so none were built. What does that mean? Then what are we using to move between islands? There's a possibility that there's a, this place is artificial island like Palm Jumaraya. Palm Jumaraya, artificial island. Palm Jumar Island is a huge artificial island and tourist site located in the Parisian Gulf. Similarly, this island might be an artificial island designed to look like Jagabalak Island. That that's especially might be why we're the only ones on this island. Just well, something like that would be impossible anyway. No island of this size could, could be completely artificial. The guidebook must be old too. It contradicts everything that, about this island's current situation. My, my. You're very intuitive to assume that this is an artificial island. No way you're here. Hey, hey. However, those guys are the only ones who could do something with s on such a massive scale. Th those guys? The hint is, you know, the enormous organization you guys were talking about before. Hmm, it's true that those guys totally deserve to be called a horrible group of people. Uh, who, who are you even talking about? Oops. That was a slip of the tongue. I should excuse myself before it leaks onto the internet. Hey, hold on a second. Before my voice could reach him, Monokuma disappeared as usual. It cannot be. It cannot be. The silent is completely artificial? There's no way that that could be true. There's no way. That guidebook is probably just old. You are right. That's right. That's obviously what it is. He's just stra saying strange things to confuse us. Damn it, there's no way I could fall for that. Hajime. Uh, Hajime? Oh, it's you, Chiyake. What happened? Well? Um, letting you and no else know too, but you can come to the ancient ruins on this island right away. You can, right? Right away, okay? Hurry up. Mm, based on her pushy tone, she might have found something kind of clue. Then I guess I should head over to the ancient ruins. What the heck is this? Such a gigantic building. However, However, it is clearly faded. It looks like it's an ancient ruin. Uh, it seems perhaps this is an actual ancient ruin. What's going on? How should I say this? Don't you think that this building resembles a school? School? Now that you mention it, I don't know how, but I do see what she means. It's the first building of Hope's Peak. I freaking knew it! Oh, I said it just barely before the thing played. There might be a resemblance. Oh, did I? To Hope's Peak Academy.
Well, there's a lot of similarly looking buildings. Just a coincidence that the ruins look similar. It's just a coincidence, right? Hmm. You found something, right, Chiaki? Where did you, what'd you find? Bastard. I'll freaking cut you the waste of time. I didn't know you were also here. Ch that bit over here kept bugging me, so I finally came. <laughs> did you maybe find a way to get off this island? No, nope. it's nothing like that. Ah, oh, then who cares? I should have been... I should have played in the bath with Mihiru some more. Let me ask. Then, what in the world did you find? Chiaki found something. I wonder what it is. What is this, ancient ruins? There's a strange ambiance to it. I should listen to what Chiaki has to say first. Hey, Chiaki, what did you find? If it's not a way off this island, does it have something to do with the island's secret? Hmm, about that, I, I, I don't know. What do you mean, you don't know? It's like it doesn't belong with the building like this. I keep thinking about it and it feels unnatural. It's like a comic book originally about baseball becoming a side-scrolling action game. It's unnatural like that. It's a little hard to understand. Look at that door over there. Door. I did not find anything on the beach that could help us escape. I hope we find something here. Same. <laughs> Chiaki was investigating this place really thoroughly. Sh is she like a ruins enthusiast? Maybe. A new land is opened. However, it does not mean that we shall find salvation here. Grief is all that awaits us, but that would be quite entertaining. So he's saying that if he didn't find anything useful on this island, and that is it. Hey. hey, it occurred to me that... But have you seen that Yoda anywhere? Nope, haven't seen him. I see. Jeez, this goes for a Fuyuhiko too, but you boys should really get a hold of yourselves. Probably a good idea. <laughs> it's hard to make out from all the dust, but this door... You mean, right? right? Yeah, it looks like the that's the door to the ruin. Hey. So what's wrong with the door? Can we go inside? Before we attempt to go inside, let's try brushing off this dust and clearing some of the root things off the door. If you do, I'm pretty sure you'll understand what I mean by unnatural. I don't understand, but I guess we can try to see what she says. You're right. Just as Chiaki said, we brushed off the dust and cleared the roots that were stuck behind the door. And then... What is this door? It doesn't feel like it belongs in an ancient ruin. That's the exit door. That's the door to get into the academy. It's like a door from a sci-fi movie, don't you think? It definitely doesn't fit with an ancient ruin. And what is this symbol on the door? Oh. Hmm. It looks like it's Japanese. Oh. Ah, you're totally right. Um, I'm sorry if it's just my misunderstanding. To me, it looks like it says Mirai or future. Future? Hey, who cares about a symbol on the door? More importantly, how do you open it? What's inside? It looks like it's a, there's a liquid crystal display next to the door. Could be the two that be related. Oh, yeah. Right. That must be the key to open the door. It's probably set to open with the type of password. Yes, yes. Acting all high and mighty. But so what's next? It's obviously impossible to put the password without any hints. Uh, so you're saying normal people can't open it, but a Yazu Yakuza, Yakuza can. That's hilarious. Shut up. Shut up. Even if they would just type whatever, we might get in, right? Uh, I think we should wait. Does that seem dangerous? Huh? Hmm? What do you mean, dangerous? Because the thing next to the panel 
Doesn't that look like a gun? In fact, it that totally is a gun. G gun. Huh? That is a gun. If it is, it is probably very dangerous. It is possible you might get shot if you mess up the right the password, right? Damn it. It can't be helped. Looks like it's better we don't mess with it for now. <laughs> ah, he's totally freaked Shut out. You do it then. But still, a building like that looks like an ancient ruin. And with a door that looks like it's from a sci-fi film, it's definitely unnatural. This is probably an important place. Important place, huh? The problem is, is how do you know it's important? Um. Um. You're both quiet. You guys are about to know about this building too, right? Just be honest with us. No, I have no idea at all. I don't know either. For now, everyone should focus on gathering the hope fragments. Hey, there's no way you guys don't know. Just show... Don't just show up and tell us the same lousy lies. You guys are probably the ones that cover that door with the dust, right? Uh, just as I thought. You guys were hiding it on purpose, right? Hey, hey don't talk like we're equals, you trashy bitch. Say you're sorry, bitch. I just said it. I, I just said it. I'm sorry. Is it possible that there's a connection between us and the door and the reason the island is uninhabited? For example, this place might be a shelter and there might be an might be there might be natives inside. Hey. Is there is something happening that would make them hide in a shelter? If so, we are so screwed. Hmm. Several possibilities cross my mind. Hmm. But it looks like there's no way to confirm it yet. That door is really sturdy. But not as not in a material sense. More essential than that. Huh? huh? What are you saying? Hey, um... For instance, even though Monami and I can come and go as we please, we can't enter what's beyond that door. <laughs> you, huh? You can't go inside too? Does that mean you're the same as me? And punch. There. Now that I've shot up my sister with a fantastic Pegasus meteor, Pegasus meteor fish, me meteor fist, this is the mess mystery of Jabberwock Island, a mystery that even Monami and I can't solve. That's why I have high expectations for you guys. One day you'll be able to solve that mystery. Hmm, that seems easy enough. All we gotta do is remember that what that black and white. Tanuki said before. Hey, why is there 16 of you? If a total of 15 students from Hope Peak Academy were arranged to come to this island, that's right. There's probably a traitor. I don't even know about hiding. I don't even know about hiding among the group. Just kidding. I know. There's a traitor among us. That's what that ugly Tanuki said before. Bye. Calling me ugly and Tanuki. Those are kind of silly names. Don't depress me in the slightest. Hello. He's totally depressed. If there's a traitor, then they probably know how to open the door, right? And they're probably the boats, probably boats or a way to contact the outside world beyond the door. Or maybe whoever's controlling Monokuma and Monami is hiding there. But, but do you really think there's a traitor among us? Of course there is. Who the hell is it? Hurry up and confess. There isn't... There's no traitor anywhere. Hey, Monokuma, what about you? You're the one who mentioned it. <laughs> What's so funny? Hey, hey. Oh, just... Have you guys heard of an organization called the World Ender? World Ender? I'm the one asking you a question. Do not change the subject. I understand why you'd want to just ignore it. World Ender is such an embarrassing name. It is so embarrassing that only middle school students, no, wait, elementary school students would come up with it. But the name is unavoidable because that organization actually exists. 
So what is this? Organization. <laughs> it's literally what it says. Hi. Those guys Hello. ended the world. <laughs> ended the w world. Hey, um... That's not even an overstatement or a metaphor. You know, those guys really did end the world. So you don't think it's appropriate to call them World Ender? You mean, they're a terrorist organization. Hmm. Terrorist? Hmm. That might be accurate. But only losers are terrorists. If they manage to win, then they become heroes. <laughs> In that sense, they're more like heroes. They're the heroes who ended the world. What's going on? So what? Don't say things that don't make sense. Don't tell me you're going to just say this organization is the one putting us through all this crap. World Ender, what are they saying you and Monami are, are the members of that organization? Who knows? Who knows? The only thing I can tell you is... The organization that the traitor is working for, the ones who brought you to this island... World Ender is behind it all. Are you kidding me? Well, why are we being targeted by a horrifying organization like that? Don't panic. Don't panic. It's just another made-up story to trick us. Like the one he said about losing our school memories. I can't su suspend my disbelief for something as ridiculous as World Ender. There's no way that that organization on or the traitor exists. Monokuma, I shall listen to you spite your nonsense all you want. But I puff cigar smoke at your lifeless body. <laughs> or while I do them. My, my, my. I was kind of enough to keep you guys informed. Are you calling me a liar? Hmm, if you're going to keep acting like this, then I'll do this and that to your various body parts. Silence. Anyways, I'm telling you the truth. The World Ender Organization is the final boss of this island. Plus, one of their members is hiding among you guys. That is why you gotta find that traitor and kill them dead. Hey, hey you! You better stop! Shut up, Monami. Big brother to find trash like you needs to be punished. No! No, don't pull my ears! They're gonna come off! Monokuma and Monami departed the area, leaving the rest of us dazed and confused. Well, what? what was that just now? What's going on? Is there anybody who actually understood what they were talking about? Um, Not a clue. Uh, hey, hey. For now, since the sun is setting, we should go home for the day. I think it's a waste of time for us to keep thinking about this. Yeah, you're probably right. Hey. But it's getting dark soon, so going home might be a better idea. Let's call it a day. After exploring the new island, all that we have uncovered, and more mysteries... As we lowered our heads and bemoaned that reality, we began heading back to our cottages. I'm dead tired from walking around all day. Jeez, I don't know what the heck's going on, but it's starting to make my head hurt. Ancient ruins, strange doors, traitors, and a world ender. I have no idea what's going on anymore, and I don't feel anxious about it. I guess I should go to sleep for now. With that, I laid my exhausted body onto the head and closed my eyes. I don't like this. My least favorite food is definitely a carb. I also don't like shrimp, apples, tomatoes, and seasoned trout eggs. I don't like red foods at all either. What the heck, Monokuma? What are you talking about? Red foods are red because they have crabs inside them. Actually, it's actually a conspiracy theory that the crab industry tried to, over, tried to make me overcome my disgust. There's no way I would fall for that. I would never, 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 and never, never eat a red food. Monokuma, you're missing out. You see, society is filled with various hidden conspiracies that are closer than you, than you might think. Look to the next make sure you guys be careful as well. Okay, Monokuma. Go along with your things, I guess. Teach their own. Ahem. Hold <coughs> Academy School Trip Executive Committee.
Katie has an announcement to make. Good morning, everyone. Look now, then. Let's show some enthusiasm and make sure to give it our all today. Morning already, huh? Feels like the morning came so quickly, like the night almost got skipped or something. That explains why I feel so tired. But I'm hungry, so I should go to the restaurant and eat something. And we'll do that in the next episode, honestly. I think we've had a pretty solid episode. We've done a lot, we've seen a lot, and there's been a lot going on. Um, but yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. Love you guys, and see you in the next one. Bye!